Hey there, and welcome to the November edition of On the Beat. I'm your host, Elise Rooker, reporting from the 2009 Food Network Wine and Food Festival. On any given day, Chelsea Market can provide a variety of wine and food for any palate. But the weekend kickoff event is especially colorful. Tara Petrolino and I caught up with Chelsea Market After Dark hosts Guy Fieri and Sandra Lee. Lee, this is your second annual New York City Wine and Food Festival. How does it feel to be a part of this tonight and to be responsible for the great party that's being thrown? Well, you know, I think more, I, I think it's more about how wonderful it is for the two great charities that this is benefiting. I think the fact that we're kicking off 121 events tonight at the Food Network New York City Wine and Food Festival with, you know, over 130 of the greatest chefs in New York and 100 winemakers from all over the world benefiting two great causes to fight hunger share our strength in the Food Bank of New York is really very exciting and very gratifying for me personally. We launched the South Beach Wine and Food Festival nine years ago, and it was a natural to come to the greatest food city in the world. So, you know, once Southern Wine and Spirits entered this market four years ago, this is something that we wanted to do, and we're so, you know, honored to be part of such a great uh, event that raises money. One out of eight people in New York go to bed hungry every night, and I think what I want people to know is it's your next door neighbor, it's your friend, it's your cousin, it's your brother. And events like this are wonderful. We're thrilled. But I think most importantly, it's the bottom line. And fighting hunger is so important to me and to all of our talent, our sponsors, and our consumers who are out here tonight. So we're very grateful about, for that. Guy, year number two for the New York City Wine and Food Festival. You were in attendance last year, but this year, you got the biggest party of them all. What's it like? Well, I mean, they said, we want you to do the kickoff party. What do you want? I said, well, I mean, you're asking an Italian guy, what do I want? I said, there's an old restaurant inside of Chelsea Market. I want to turn it into my, like one of my restaurants back in, back in California. And so that's what we did. Got a band, a rocking bar, a lot of great food, some of the best, the best fans in the world. I got what I want. The fact that this goes to charity. Let me get this straight. Have a great time, eat great food, see your favorite Food Network chefs, hang out with a bunch of cool people all weekend long, and the money's going to charity. Everybody loves food. It's a common denominator of all people. Food is hot. Food has got energy. Food's got emotion. It's so much. And we had a big jump, a big generational gap for 20, 30 years. And now people are starting to re realize how much they love it. And they love everything about it. And so there's a network devoted solely to that. And for a lot of people, maybe don't like country music, maybe don't like rock music, maybe don't like football. Everybody loves food. I do really think one of the important things though is we have to cook with our kids. My son called me and asked me what I want for dinner on Monday when I get home. He couldn't tell me that he got straight A's and got that kind of feeling. What do I want for dinner and he's gonna make it? That's, that's what this is about. Food is more than consuming nutritional you know, and, and proteins and carbs. Food's an emotion, food's life, food's, food's this. It's all about food. And to be one of the quarterbacks for the National Food League is awesome. So, Miss Sandra Lee, yes. all of your books, all of your success with your show, tell us what you're bringing from all of that success to the New York City Wine and Food Festival. Well, first of all, we're going to have a lot of fun. And if you watch my show, you know that the first thing I'm about is just having a good time and enjoying your life. But then we're going to get down to the nitty gritty in the food demonstration, and we're going to do some appetizers for the holidays, two cocktails, um, stuffing to go in the turkey. So there's all sorts of great stuff coming. And being the semi-homemade chef, yes. how does it feel to be innovating and, and working with all of these different foods and people? What does it mean to you? It's fun. Semi-homemade is not only a wonderful brand, and it really talks, it speaks to the issue of time, but then Money Saving Meals, my new show, speaks to the issue of money and saving it. But you're cooking a lot from scratch, so I kind of get to go between both worlds. And it's fun. It's, it's enjoyable. I love bringing Semi Homemade to the New Yorkers because in our community we are so rushed and so taxed and it's so busy that if you can put a good meal on the table in no time, 
God bless you.